Nyquist crossed the line, down the left wing. Nyquist to the right circle, a shot score by Spencer Abbott. Abbott set up beautifully by Nyquist, and Abbott just let it rip from the right wing circle. Spencer Abbott, the junior from Hamilton, Ontario, scores his 16th goal of the season. Maine grabs a 1-0 lead. In the middle, Langrath, cross the line, try to get by the D. He doesn't shoot, and a save made by Sullivan. Nice move by Langrath, but his shot was stopped by Dan Sullivan. Yeah, John, the Minutemen are allowed to uh, really come into the zone. Their defense backs off, so they might have to keep a mental note there and uh, charge towards the net. Lickers 44 out of town scoreboard. Our first goal from out of town goes to the Merrimack College Warriors. The right? mass defensive zone, centered in front by the Black Bears, and a nice save made by Dayton on Diamond. And out to Providing you with the top quality repairs that you and your vehicle deserve, thanks to Marshall Steinbach Collision. On the right wing, Kyle Beatty in front to D, all alone. He shoots, saved by Dayton. Oh, then Dayton got drilled by his own D-man, Adam, or uh, Mark and Cannon, rather, forward. And Paul's in the net. Might need a little bit of help to get Boy, you. I'll tell you, John, it almost looked like that they, when Dayton got pushed in, it almost looked like the puck went in and underneath the net when it got lifted up. Paul's tangled up, the, the, a linesman and a ref are going to have to get him untangled. His left uh, right, Joey Diamond in the UMass side, shooting, save Dayton. And again, he hangs on to it. Face off will come to Dayton's right side. That shot by Dayton came from the left wing circle. 17-27 remaining in the second period. It's main one, UMass nothing. Thanks for tuning in to UMass Hockey tonight here on the UMass Sports Network. And 100 point away. Mike was down the left wing, a spinorama. He shoots and a save made by Dayton. Well, Allen got back, Connor Allen, to kind of break up the, the breakaway. As Nyquist came down the left side, Allen came down the right side to take the angle away. And then a little bit, not a little bit, a spinorama by Nyquist. He went to the back. Faceoffs is still top heavy. Hobbs will shoot, excuse me, Brock, and a save by well, Sullivan. Your call's more important than mine. One of the few uh, rebound opportunities we see Siner uh, there is uh, Sullivan uh, bobbled that there and credits Siner. He went hard to the net, yep. right down in front of our Adam Frenier. Yeah, he and Cornell got tangled up behind Sullivan, who I think might have taken that puck right in the bread basket. He was hunched over there for a second. But, uh, Holds on. Right point, Abbott lets it rip. Blocked by Mark and Cannon, and he's hurt. Play continues. Abbott, right side of the net. Nyquist in front of O'Neill. He is robbed, or Flynn rather, robbed by Paul Dayton. And he'll cover on it. A face-off will come in the UMass defensive zone. Danny Hobbs comes to the aid, uh, John and Adam, of uh, Mark and Cannon. He slams his stick down because I. He's hurt. It's one of those yeah. things where you know you're hurt, and it looks like he went right down the runway. Did he, Adam, from your angle? Uh, it looks that way, Brock. I've actually switched sides to try to get okay. a, an so, interview, but I was going to say that puck on uh, Flynn shot. Lucky for the Minutemen, it was on edge because if it was yeah. Mangine to Flynn across the line, back to Mangine who shoots. And a save by Dayton, and it rolled right along the goal line. And they say it went in. No goal light either. They say it went in. I'd so, like to see the replay, John. A short-handed goal by the Black Bears of Maine and Mangine. No light on by, I think that is Mike Duclos. It is. Is the uh, uh, is the minor official down there. Adam, are you down that end? I'm right behind it. I'm right next to the goal judge. Yeah. And by my naked four eyes, I didn't think it went over the goal All line. Right. We are looking at the video replay. The official is right to our is to our right. Looking for some it's a goal. goal. Yeah, yep. it's a goal. Point. Turns it in deep behind the net to Nyquist. Nyquist prances to the right circle and tried to give it to Flynn. Dayton is down and they score. It came to the left wing circle to Van Dyke. Paul Dayton had fallen down and Van Dyke just popped it into the empty net and Maine is opened up. A 3 0 lead. Comes at 4 12, John. There is Van, Josh Van Dyke. Saw Dayton, who's just kind of just nods his head just in disappointment as he fell down, lost his stick at his back to the net. And uh, Van Dyke basically uh, Johnny on the spot lack of any other term credit the black bears brock they've kept after it kept after it and finally here in the first three minutes and change of the play moving to the main zone in the near corner mark and cannon up with it can cannon tried to center it he succeeds scores adam phillips on the right wing circle good hard work by mark and cannon he got it to the big rookie and adam phillips a freshman from farmington hills michigan has scored his ninth goal this season and Maine's lead is now three to one. I see him taking some of those shots and good to see Mark and Cannon is okay. There's a couple of players, one for each team that was taken off the ice, not feeling so good, but Mark and Cannon worked hard. 
to really make that play happen. And then between him and Phillips, John, good setup, good teamwork, 10.46 the time, working down low to our left. Fine with the Providence it. loss, and they're losing big in the third period. Would give the Minutemen a playoff spot. However, here comes D shooting, and he scores. Yeah, There's a big answer to that. Robbie D from the left wing circle scores, and it is a 4-1 main lead. So the Black Bears answer right back. 17 seconds. Wow. They had to send some people to the exits right here. John. To the right point, Adam Phillips, return to Shea. Left wing circle, sign a redirection, save made, rebound, score, Danny Hobbs! Power play goal for UMass! And it's a now a 4-2 main lead. Then then John tried to work it down low, and that's what they did. Worked it on the near side boards. Chase Langrath continues to have this torrid second half. Fired it right out in front, Danny Hobbs is there. You know, I credit Danny, sometimes he doesn't get those picture-perfect end-to-end goals, but good players tend to find themselves in the right spots at the right time, and Hobbs was able to, on the, uh, to as we looked down to our left, put himself on the far side, and answers at 12-0, so it's been a do answer here, John. Now it's time to go full press. Here's Pereira they shooting, score! and Pereira scores! Michael Pereira went upstairs, glove side, and it's suddenly just a one-goal main lead. Seven seconds after Danny Hobbs, Michael Pereira. We talked about the give up to the main defense, the sloppy main defense. Adam mentioned it before too. And Pereira between the faceoff circles, everybody was standing around like the whistle was blown. And Pereira the kept third playing. period. Main four, UMass three. UMass steal shot by Filio and a save made by Sullivan and he hangs on to it for a face off in the main zone. Do, do I don't know why, Go ahead. I was just gonna say, I'm not sure why Whitehead was so upset. I mean, his player got just got caught with his head down. That was a clean hit. Isn't that and the first thing a hockey coach teaches a player is keep your head the up University on The University of Maine four and the University of Massachusetts three.